Jerry Springer has lived in America for nearly 60 years and is the world's most controversial talk show host. With his eponymous chat show syndicated to over 40 countries. Before that, he was a TV news anchor and had a political career as mayor of Cincinnati. But Jerry was born Gerald Norman Springer in London in 1944, where he lived with his father Richard, mother Margot, and sister Evelyn. In 1949, the family emigrated to America and settled in New York. Jerry has come back to his old neighborhood, Queens, in New York, to talk to his sister about their family. Gerald, how do you feel about going on this trip? I'm excited. I'm excited. Because I only heard bits and pieces of what their life was like and who our relatives were. You know, I heard something, you know, I heard a little bit, obviously, about the Holocaust and that kind of stuff. But the people they would talk about are only people in a picture. It's not anyone we ever got to know. Our parents never really spoke much about their past. And I think it was pretty typical of Holocaust families not to. It was hurtful. It was sad. Uh, life was taken away from them that they didn't choose to have taken away. And they were very much involved in starting all over again. I mean, all their energy went there. You know, we all have these faded pictures. But we didn't know these people because they were exterminated before, you know, before we were born. Now, in this picture here, we have mom and dad. This picture it's, is their wedding picture. Yeah, it's of, nine, yeah, March 12, 1933. To put this in perspective, this is literally six weeks after Hitler came to power. He came to power January 30th of 33. There are a lot of our relatives or their friends there, but the people that we can really point out, obviously, is mom and dad, mom looking beautiful. And next to mom is dad's mom, Selma. Selma. And to the right of dad is mom's mom, Marie. Marie. I had heard that they, they had died in the camps. I kept hearing Auschwitz. But yeah, I, we all assumed it was Auschwitz. Yeah. Uh, that was the big camp. Well, we'll find that out. And down here is Erica, is our cousin. So she's five here when she's the wedding took place. She's five at the wedding. Yeah. And then I found something else which is amazing. This is a certificate of registration, and it's mom's. Look at that wonderful picture. Oh, and 9th, August 9th, 1939. This is not just family history. This is world history. This is real. That's right. You know, it's not, a, I mean, it's you only see it in textbooks and now. And what's really poignant, personally and emotionally, mm. but also historically, is this sentence. Wow. A refugee from Nazi oppression. And that really tells the story, not only of them, but of so many people. Wow. Yeah. Emma Stafford was born 10 years before it became a legal requirement to register births. So the only way John can discover who Emma's real parents were is if she was baptized. I don't know. Well, it's just. It does something to you, I tell you, it's, 